Welcome to another Gibbs Cam version 14 tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to cut dovetails. Uh, more and more parts are being held in dovetail fixtures. As you can see here, a quick way to cut parts. And we're going to show you how to do that. Now we're basing this off of the layout that uh, five axis fixtures give you. Uh, you can see it's a 45 degree dovetail cutter, maximum 0.38. Uh, millimeters which is about 15 thou and we have uh, uh, the layout here for one and a half um, millimeter um, pins and this is your dimensions over the pin 17.52 millimeters so this is what we're going to base this off of so here I have my dovetail if I turn on the geometry palette and go to the side view here You will see and turn on dimensions. This matches their fixture layout for dovetails, 0.6898, which is 17.52 millimeters over the pins. So as you can see, I have this laid out already so you can see the final result here. So if I go back to the isometric view and go to the edges. Now what I have done, let me move to the top view here and turn some of this off. You can see I've extracted the geometry off the very edge inside here and as well as the top. So you can program it either way by the edge of the cutter or from the top and let Gibbs calculate it for you. So I drew up my dovetail here. You can see the one I bought off MSC is 3 quarter inch diameter on the outside of the cutter. 45 degree angle, quarter inch on the shank, and about 3 eighths on the upper shank, as you can see it here as well in the view. So pretty much a standard dovetail cutter here. So we can program, like I said, either the tip or the top. We're going to do both. So let me turn the cam on, and I'll bring up the first one here. So I'll bring my cutter down into there. And the top of my part is Z0 as normal, so I'm just going to wrap it to 0.2. Now this dimension here, so we would already have this um, milled out here. Normally you'd take a, a just a standard end mill and cut most of this away, especially if it's a larger part. So this is where you want to tell Gibbs where to calculate the offset from. So I'm going to Alt-click this surface, and you can see it's uh, minus, minus 0.78 thou. Uh, material and uh, how deep are we going to cut? Well, we're going to cut the same depth. So basically, the tool is going to come down and cut across there. So I don't need to do any offsets or anything like this. The Gibbs is just going to ask me, okay, where do you want that tip to cut? Because it already knows the depth. So I'm just going to say over here. I'm just going to move the part off a little bit and straight down and over there. And the same thing with the opposite side. Same thing there. So let's cut part, render that, and show you what it's going to do. So first I'm going to stop. Click on stop before operation 3. Slow this down just a little bit. So our tool is going to come down, cut across, and cut across. And we have our dovetail. If I look at the side view, turn on the geometry overlay. Let's go back to the side view here. You can see what it actually cut matches. Let's run this again. You'll see the cutter. I'll single step it through there. You can see as I single step through, it matches the geometry perfectly as it cuts. Goes the other side off the part, down, and you can see it matches perfectly. Okay, so let's say now you want to program it uh, from the top edge instead. Okay, let's turn off rendering. Let's bring up operation number three. You can see I told it to cut on the top edge here. You can see that's what I selected. Okay, again, point two. When we're done, point two. This time we're going to say uh, the material at the, uh, at the top is zero, 
and again minus 0 0.078. So what gives us calculating is the offset based on that dimension right there. This will let me go to a different view and it'll make a little more sense. Bring up the other view here. Let's go to the tool and we'll go to the right home view again. And as you can see, turn off the grid a little bit there. Okay, as you can see, when the tool comes down to minus 0 0.078, that Gibbs is going to force the tool in, tell the shape of the tool, which is this. You can see I drew the shape of the tool, what it's actually going to be, f meets up with this edge right here. So it's going to actually cut right there. So it's going to meet up that edge. I don't need to put any offsets or in, anything in there. You just need to know the depth there. And Gibbs will calculate that for you. And again, operation number four is doing the opposite side. So let's cut part render that. I'll just delete these two momentarily. And we'll go back to operation sim. And again, I'm going to simulate that and simulate that. And I'll stop right there. Let me single step it through. We'll go to the side view again. So there's our tool, cuts down, goes over, back across. Let's turn on the side view there, and as you can see, it calculates it perfectly as well, right to the edge. This might be helpful programming on the top if your uh, dovetail cutter had a radius in the corner there. Uh, would be better to probably program it that way because you know this line is a straight angle and it's easier to calculate from that. Okay, well let's show you a little bit how to do a corner rounder. Let's go to the edges again. This time, let's go back to isometric view. This time I extracted the edge off the part here. I created a round over tool. Okay, I just chose a standard quarter inch shank, half inch diameter. And this one has an eighth of an inch uh, radius in there which means if I double the eighth inch and subtract it from a half inch, that means the pilot's quarter inch there. And I just made it from the bottom of the pilot up exactly eighth of an inch as well. Now you might have to adjust this because corner rounders aren't uh, a standard. Some people make the pilots longer than that. So as long as you put it in the right dimensions, everything will calculate perfectly. So let me bring that up. It's operation number five. Going along this edge here normal. Okay, I have it at uh, point 0.1, we're wrapping 2, and Gibbs needs to know where the material is you want to cut. Of course, if I just put 0 in there, if I alt-click, you can see it fills in the blank already. So, if I do this again over here, okay, that's where the, uh, the tool is, the depth right now, so I want to subtract minus eighth of an inch because that's what's uh, how deep the pilot is comes out to minus 0 0.20374. Okay, that's going to bring the tool right to the edge of there, and I want to force it in an eighth of an inch exactly like the pilot shows. So once we do that, if I run this, single step it through, let's just turn off our geometry, geometry and uh, single step it through, you can see cuts perfectly eighth of an inch cut there. Let's go to a side view. You can see the part matches this edge perfectly. So very easy to do a dovetail or corner rounders or any kind of form tool, shape tool you want. You just have to know how Gibbs thinks and you can do that by either drawing the tool and that will kind of help you there calculate your dimensions you need to be and you can go to side view and you can see everything comes out perfectly so thanks for watching if you have any questions you can always put a question on my youtube link thank you